Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Lori here on Vancouver Island. And thank you for stopping in to pour some paint with me. I'm going to show you a quick clip of some pieces I just resined yesterday that turned out fabulously. And I'm going to show you that while I get my white ready. And we'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if I can really do these justice or not. They are just simply stunning. So I went in and I resined them. And I was kind of freaked out because they stayed sticky. And like three hours later I came in here and they were still sticky. And I was totally freaking out. So I went and I looked it up. And one of the things that causes them to be sticky is, luckily for me, not having them in a warm enough room. So, I was able to put a heater into the room, and they all cured beautifully. The other thing that causes your resin to be sticky, apparently, is if you don't mix it properly. So I was a little bit concerned about that, thinking, oh my gosh, look at all these pieces that I resined, and I was going to have to do them all over again. But apparently I do not have to do them all over again. They are beautifully resined and ready to go. So yeah, that's exciting. I actually have some pieces that are almost ready for sale. Woohoo! <laughs> So, what did you think of those pieces of beautifulness? Nice, right? I will have them. The coasters are actually ready. Um, they can be used now. I've tested the thermal. They're good for coffee cups. They're not good for oven with just the art resin on them, but they are good for a hot coffee cup, um, pouring a boiling water right into it, and, and they were fine with that. So the those would be ready to go, but... Um, the trivets, they still have to wait until I can spray them with this heat resistant spray that's supposed to make them good for up to uh, 500 degrees. So we're going to try that out in the spring once it gets warm enough. Okie dokie. So <clears throat> I think I'm going to try a Dutch pour. And I'm going to do it with magenta, scarlet, vermilion. Um, bronze, maybe a little bit of lemon yellow, and then my white cell activator. So, let's go ahead and just get to it, I guess. I'm going to do, you know what, I think I'm going to do a line. I've always done just a puddle. And so I think I'm going to try a vertical line. And I think this paint is just runny enough to do this. All right, that was the magenta. And then we'll come in here with the scarlet. And the vermilion. Very close in color to the scarlet. And then we'll come in with the bronze. Maybe a little bit too much bronze. Um, do I want to go in with some yellow? What the heck? Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's my cell activator? I'm going to put a row of it on either side. And we're going to blow it over the colors and then blow it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
hot too. That might not have been so good. <laughs> well, I love the color combination. I think I need to come in here now with my little air blower and get some definition on the edges a little bit. <laughs> just going to do the same thing. Um, that turned out beautifully and I like to have two that kind of go together at least. So um, they're different sizes but they can still make a set. Um, not everything has to be matchy matchy. So let's go ahead and... <laughs>
my gosh. So this is these two beauties. And even though I did them at two separate times, you could definitely put them together as a set. And look at, I'm going to come in closer to here. I'm going to try to keep my, it's a shadow of my phone actually that's getting in the way. But look at some of those colors. Look at the, um, my white and my was it copper or bronze? I think it was bronze that I used in this. Um, that was my, those were my metallics. So yeah, they turned out great. Thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, and I, <clears throat> I had a little bit of uh, the white paint left, so I really quickly made a set of coasters as well that can go with the set when it's all done. So yay, now it just needs to dry and be cured with resin and sprayed with some heat spray and we'll be good to go. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate you. If you haven't already, please subscribe. That would be great. Hit that notification bell so you hear or know when I put up new videos, and share. Oh my gosh, share, 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 share. <laughs> uh, trying to get the trying to get the word out there, so I guess I got to start sharing more, and boy, if you guys would share, that would be super fabulous. Anyway, have a great day. Take care of you. Bye now.